Well, Katie, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> you run Elegant Tees and you support women who are survivors of human trafficking. Um, before we get into that though, can you tell us just about human trafficking in general? How does it happen? Where does it happen? It happens worldwide, even here in the States. Um, but typically the common theme that is revolving around it is that someone is vulnerable to to being exploited, and then they are exploited so easily. It could be someone in the foster care system here in the U.S., and then they end up working um, in a, like a like just um, they they work in prostitution um, here in the U.S. Overseas, particularly in Nepal, what we find is that there are a lot of um, vulnerable people due to the extreme poverty there. So somebody will come along and they will give them some kind of promise. They will tell them, you know, I, I can take your daughter and mind you, the daughter's like 12 years old and she can work um, overseas and bring home money to the family. And it sounds so promising to the parents and the, and the family because they are so desperate just to be able to feed everyone. So these type of um, deceptions are happening worldwide. And um, there's also other types of trafficking, too, where people are forced and coerced into situations that they really wouldn't want to be in. And a lot of the products that we buy, um, like you were saying earlier, Victoria, about how there's so much that's made in sweatshops, it's estimated that about 98% of the clothing we wear um, is made from exploited labor, child labor, or straight up human trafficking. So it's definitely a huge problem that we would like to tackle. Your, your company in the midst of this deception uh, and desperation of uh, many people, especially women, your company, Elegantes, employs actually women in Nepal, I've heard, to be seamstresses. These women, uh, I know, were either victims of human trafficking or, or they are in some way at risk. So how did you find these women and, and give them this chance? That's a great question. Um, I, I didn't start off thinking we were going to be in Nepal. All I knew is that when I started my company, I wanted to do something to fight human trafficking. That was just on my heart constantly when I started it 14 years ago. And um, I wanted to create a brand that was, you know, modest and um, very practical. And I thought, OK, if this does really well, I want to give back to this cause. But along the way, I met someone in Nepal and he was doing some nonprofit work to um, help victims um, have a safe home and um, like just counsel with them and help them get back into society. But what happens in Nepal in particular is there is a stigma associated within the culture with anyone who has been trafficked or, or has um, been, been kicked out of their family because it's it's in their culture. Um, if things happen to you, you are pushed away and ostracized from society. So it's very difficult to be able to get a job or to become independent and provide for yourself and just have your basic needs met. So being able to create jobs for these women who are, are not part of um, what society really accepts and wants to have participate um, is really empowering because we're able to provide them with a dignified job where they are paid fairly, where they can have their needs met, where the, the working conditions are fair and reasonable, and they're all thriving because of that. And Katie, I know you know your seamstresses personally, so can you tell us a story about one of the women and how working for you has changed her life? Yeah, well, um, in the culture in Nepal, um, a lot of times when when things like human trafficking happens and, and someone is victimized or defiled, um, even the family will not accept them back because they believe that that person or that, you know, that girl needs to pay off her karmatic debt um, because of uh, their belief system there. So they will completely reject that girl and will not take her back. And this happens a lot. Um, one young lady in particular, she really wanted to make things right with her parents. Um, and so she would actually send money from her job to them and to help um, cover the cost of just raising her younger siblings um, after she started working in our sewing center. And because of, of that, her parents started to see things with a very different lens. They started to have hope 
that um, maybe things are not what we thought. You know, maybe, um, you know, God is even a part of all of this, where God is real and God is able to redeem things. And 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 um, we've just seen that. And now her and her family are reunited and they're they're doing well and they're they're they've been restored. And we just love to see that restoration that comes in. And it wouldn't have been possible probably without her being able to have the work that she was able to do. Well, that's just a great story, but let's just switch this up a bit, uh, Katie. Victoria looks absolutely ravishing today because of you. <laughs> do you have, uh, uh, do you design yourself the clothes for Elegantes? Yes, I'm based in New York City. Um, I've been in the fashion industry for, well, if you count my internships in my early days, close to 20 years now. So um, I love designing and making clothing. I'm a pattern maker, a technical designer, a production manager. Do, I do it all as an entrepreneur. Um, so I started the clothing company as as a, as basically my dream. I wanted to start a clothing line since I was in eighth grade. And um, when I finally had that opportunity to do so, it you know we made it happen. And it just felt like there was a lot of favor from God in all of it because um, He had like this plan, you know, for me to be in this field too, to use um, my gifts in order to help women be restored. Yeah, and the clothes, they're they are beautiful, they're modest. And I know you, you mentioned modesty earlier. Is that something that you were really intentional about? Because obviously, I, we, I know you're a Christian, and a lot of times as women, we're trying to dress modestly, but we also want to look beautiful. We don't want to be covered from head to toe, like in a parka all day. So did you? how did you approach that intentionally when you're designing the clothes? Um, yes, so I think for our culture here in America, we don't have to cover up super, like a lot, you know, um, unless you personally feel convicted about that. But I think um, being able to dress in a dignified way where you can feel beautiful and have, have everything, you know, hit in the right places. Victoria, I love this mod dress on you. Like, it's just so flattering and you look incredible. But, you know, like your knees are covered and like it's not low cut or anything like that. You just look amazing and so beautiful. And I think having that balance between, you know, putting so much emphasis on fashion, but also not really putting any emphasis on fashion, you know, bringing that in the middle. And I think that's why our, our brand, like just as, as a clothing company alone, attracts a lot of, you know, busy moms and, and women who don't really have a lot of time to, um, you know, focus on fashion and their outfits as much. So we try to make it so that when you put it on, it's fuss free. You know, you don't have to adjust bra straps. They're just there, you know, covered. And um, the, the, the length of the shirts are pretty long as well, which also makes things really easy to move around. And so um, that that's always kind of been a priority, not just for the dignified element of it to to feel and look beautiful and but also just for the practical part of it as well. Katie, it's been great meeting you. We're out of time, but where can people uh, actually buy these great clothes and also get in on the on the Friday emails? Oh, yes. So every Friday I update about just the behind the scenes and how our progress is working. So if you go to elegantees.com, um, it's spelled E-L-E-G-A-N-T and then E-E-S. So it's basically t-shirt fabric, the greatest cotton spandex you can find. And um, we turn make it elegant, you know, so it's just, it feels like you're wearing your favorite t-shirt, but you're wearing a cute dress or a cute top. Um, so yeah, check out the website, elegantees.com. Great. Thank you, Katie. We really appreciate both Victoria and I and all of our viewers really appreciate meeting you. We're inspired by your work and may God continue to bless you and what you are doing and particularly providing great, uh, wonderful employment for women who have great struggles. So thanks so much. Thank you for having me. All right. God bless you.